Hey guys, and welcome to day 14 of Vlogmas. So today is the 14th of December, and I have gotten a little bit behind schedule on my vlogs because what I was doing previously was filming the day before and then uploading, um, say like day 13 on day 13. But unfortunately, um, I've just I had a big work deadline and I got a little behind. So this morning I uploaded the day 13 vlog, and I am currently filming day 14 right now and hopefully I can get it up tonight so that I can get back on track with being a day ahead technically tomorrow. Does that make sense? Did I even need to explain that? The plan for today involves me working from home in the morning and then going to my mom's house in the afternoon. So what I'm going to do right now is film my Project for Awesome video and then I'm going to um, stop by the library on the way to my mom's house because it's sort of on the way slash I just really want to get a DVD for this weekend. Obviously since I'm vlogging I will take you guys along with me and hopefully that should be fun because I feel like it hasn't been a very bookish vlogmas so far. Actually speaking of books I finished the Nakano thrift shop last night and um, originally rated it as like three three and a half stars on Goodreads and then wrote my full review for April Magazine, submitted it and thought you know what no it's actually more of a four star so I went back and changed my uh, review on Goodreads. Basically this might be the most Japanese book I have ever read in my life and by that I mean that it is very quiet it's very slow there's no real plot it's more about um, character interactions and a lot of the characters are a bit flat reading through other people's reviews on Goodreads I can tell that this really annoyed some people but for me it just felt so very Japanese and I was really picturing it all as like a as like a Japanese like drama series you know with like a lot of ambient noise and minimal soundtrack and all that. I'm glad I read it and it's definitely one of those books I think I enjoy the more I think about it, if that makes sense. And actually if you're fans of Haruki Murakami and you want like a funnier female version of one of his novels, I think this uh, is definitely going to be up your street. So definitely keep your eyes on my Twitter for the uh, April Magazine review because I always share the link. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my little mini review. Spur of the moment decision, I'm not going to be doing a December wrap up because I can just tell you guys what I'm reading in these daily vlogs. Oh, that makes my life so much easier. <laughs> Oh, lovely. You can see my allergy eye. Ugh. Okay, so I'm at my parents' house now, and I thought I would quickly talk you through what I picked up at the library. Um, I didn't get a whole lot, but I basically picked up what I was craving. First, I have here a film, which is Departures by Yojiro Takita. Now, this is a Japanese film about a former symphony player who moves back to his childhood home in a small town to look for work when the symphony goes bankrupt. Unfortunately, he can only find work as a funeral professional where he helps prepare bodies um, for their funerals and for their cremations and for viewings, uh, which is kind of a taboo job because of, you know, the whole fact of touching dead people. I've seen this several times and while it's definitely not a necessarily super cheery or a uh, Christmassy film, definitely not. Um, I really love it, it's really beautiful, and I was kind of craving it after reading Mr. Nakano's Thrift Shop, so that's why I picked that one up. And then I also picked up some books, starting with The Loney by Andrew Michael Hurley. I had checked this one out back in October because I thought it would be the perfect Halloween read and then just never got around to it, so I thought I would uh, try it again, see if I could get to it this time, and um, really looking forward to it. I heard about this one on Jean's channel and she spoke very highly of it. And the last thing I grabbed was I Am Malala, the girl who stood up for education and was shot by the Taliban. Basically, I was re-watching old Stephen Colbert interviews the other day and came across an interview he did with her and then went on to watch her Nobel Peace Prize speech and I just find myself so very intrigued by her. She is such an inspiring person that is the phone, and I'm really looking forward to getting to this one. Mm -hmm. 